Hello everybody, the great Dino Ranger here again, back with another figure review. This time we got something totally different that I've never reviewed on the channel before. Um, it's also something brand new that I got to add to my collection recently. And uh, that is a Rebor figure. Now Rebor is another company that produces really great, detailed, um, accurate, um, in some cases, models of dinosaurs. Um, so much like what you get from Safari or Collecte or Papo, um, but it's uh, they they just produce like their own line of dinosaur figures, and they're really good. And uh, this is my very first Rebor figure in my collection, and like I said, my very first one I get to review on the channel. Um, and yeah, I'm just super excited to get a closer look at it. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the Rebor Triceratops Horridus Trident or Horn of Doom. Um, and uh, yeah, this figure is just gorgeous. This is a gorgeous Triceratops figure. It's definitely one of my favorites and one of the best that are in my um, model collection of dinosaurs. Um, and uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get a closer look at this figure. But I think first things first, we'll take a look at the package that it came in. This figure was a another birthday gift um, that I received in the mail um, for my birthday. And I'm super happy uh, with this gift. This figure is just absolutely gorgeous. So here's the, f or maybe the front of the packaging, I guess, I don't know. It shows the cool skeletal of the, the dinosaur you're essentially getting. It gives you the name Triceratops Hortus. You know, that's the uh, official species name of this Triceratops anyway. Um, Trident, I believe that is, that's its name. And then you got Horn of Doom, 135 scale. Um, there's the Rebor logo right there. Um, and here, uh, um, I don't really have anything on the side, I believe. Nothing at the bottom. Um, but here at the top, you do have uh, the other list of figures that Rebor has in their lineup, which some of these I have seen before on images and videos online, and a lot of them look really cool. And I definitely want to get more uh, later on down the line, because after getting this very first Rebor figure right here, I definitely want more, you know, these figures are really gorgeous and beautifully sculpted. Um, and yeah, just really great, you know, great dinosaur models to have. You know, something that's not Jurassic Park related, I think is really cool. Um, and we got a whole bunch right here. You know, we got Utyrannus, you got Dimorphodon, you know, some more Triceratopses, Ankylosaurus, Carnotaurus, Acrocanthosaurus. You know, you got a whole bunch here. Um, and they only show the skeletons. They don't show what the actual figure looks like, but the pose wise, I think that's their actual pose that the figure is in, I believe. Um, yeah, really cool. Really cool. I, I have been looking at a lot of these online, just kind of seeing what other ones I would like to, to have in my collection at some point. Um, but yeah, really cool there. Um, but let's go ahead and take a close look at this figure, um, which I find this figure to be extremely delicate. Um, this is not like something from Safari or anything like that. Like this is something that you have to treat with like care um, and take really good care of because I feel like this thing could definitely break if if it fell off the shelf or you accidentally dropped it like on the hard floor or something. So uh, any of you who own any Rebor figures, um, I'm sure I'm right. You know, you got to treat all these with care. I mean, you got to treat any dinosaur toy um, that you have with care, at least, uh, you know, specifically if you're a collector. Um, but here is our Triceratops Trident. Such a cool name for a Triceratops. Um, and it's a really cool, unique one because you can get one that doesn't have the ho broken horn. Um, I like the one with the broken horn, so I'm really glad I got this one. Um, it's really cool, it makes it unique, and it makes it really intimidating. Um, yeah, just this overall really solid Triceratops figure. Definitely one of my all-time favorites um, in my collection. So just briefly looking at the head right here, the head is super good on this one. It's fairly accurate too, I would say, to an actual Triceratops skull. Um, really nice detail in the sculpt work all over the head right here with the scales that are varying in different sizes. You know, really nicely done. Um, the beak is nicely sculpted as well. Um, same with the nostrils. Um, and then the horn here on, above the, the nose. Really nice to sculpt it. I like how they make it kind of jagged here on this side, so it kind of makes it look sharp um, and not just super smooth and always perfect like you see in some representations. Um, and then here on the front, some really nice 
sculpt are going on too. Really cool, menacing looking Triceratops. This one has definitely been through a lot, um, but it's definitely um, has either won or at least escaped out of a pretty big conflict with other dinosaurs. So it kind of shows you how powerful this this beast is. Um, and I really like the, the damaged eye right here. I like the sculpt and the claw marks around the eye. Um, and then the eye right here is actually cloudy, or it's like a kind of like a uh, a warmer gray tone. I'm super. I'm excuse me. I'm assuming that's supposed to mean it's blind because it, the the scratch in the eye. So something must have clawed its eye and it made it lose its vision. And kind of cool how it's on the exact same side as this broken horn. So something bad definitely happened on this side. Um, who knows? And here the horn right here looks really cool i like the you know the the damaged um horn right here this one's definitely been snapped off and i like how it looks like a snapped piece of tree bark like that's what it looks like like the texture it looks like a tree bark literally just snapped and like fell and it just has like all these splintering you know skinnier parts just kind of sticking out you know that would be a really good way to puncture your enemies you know so really cool then uh, you got a nice little ear hole here on the back, which is a nice touch of detail. And you got some more um, more spikes or bumps, whatever the term is for these on the frill right here. And then the frill itself was really nicely done. Nice amount of scale work. And you got some really cool, you know, protruding uh, bumps here on these on this part of the, uh, the frill, which looks really nice. And then you got the spikes right here along the frill that are poking out really nicely too. And they have like that sharp looking look to it. So it kind of adds to the, I guess the intimidation of just this Triceratops' face. And then here on this side, it's pretty much the same, just minus, minus the uh, damaged portions. Um, as you can see, this eye here actually has a pupil. This one's actually able to see, whereas this one is pretty badly damaged. Um, but it looks like it's still holding up pretty well. And then the one horn here that's still intact is really big and really long and sharp. So it kind of shows you how long these uh, horns are. And I really do like this because I think in real life, the horns would actually be probably quite long and skinny and sharp because they would have had a keratinous covering on top of the bone anyway. So what you see in the museums, that might not be exactly how long the horns are. They're probably gonna be just a teeny bit longer um, due to some keratin. Um, attached to it so really cool there really do love the face and what's really cool is you get an articulated jaw i mean come on that is super cool i will say this is something that the jaw articulation should have been on some mattel jurassic world figures like on their hadrosaurs and especially their ceratopsians you know they always make just a lower beak move which is not natural at all but to have something like this or like the beast of the mesozoic ceratopsians probably would have made it much better but um, you know, it is what it is. You got some more protruding bumps sticking out of the lower jaw right here, which looks really good. And inside the mouth, it's really hard to see, but you got a really nicely detailed, uh, well, sculpted tongue that has like a really nice glossy coat to it to make it look wet or fill with, filled with uh, saliva. And you got some teeth sculpted back there too. So that's really great attention to detail. Really great stuff. I don't see any teeth on the top of the mouth, but you know, it's not like people are gonna be observing the inside of the mouth the whole time anyway. Um, but at least they put enough detail in there to, you know, satisfy that, I guess. Um, but yeah, really cool. And all over the body, the body is just super greatly sculpted. And I love the pose it's in. It's not in a standard, just standing on all fours. It's like actually moving. Like it's, you can just tell that the muscles are flexing. You can see the bones sliding in underneath the muscles. Um, you can just tell that the weight of this animal as it's moving. You just you can just feel it. You can just look at it. Um, and as the kind of like the muscles kind of not really like they jiggle or vibrate whenever they make contact with the ground as it as it's uh, walking. Um, that's what I get with this figure, and it looks really great. Um, and the detail is phenomenal on this figure. The amount of scales that are on this one, super great sculpt. And you got some nice little line. Um, skin creases here around the neck area, some skin folds, so really nice there. Kind of shows it how it's kind of stretching, you know, showing this animal is in motion. Um, nice muscle definition, like I said, um, and really quite muscular, 
thick limbs, you know, because this is a strong dinosaur. This is a strong um, animal to hold up its game um, whenever it needed to. So really cool. It's got a nice, nice short little tail, uh, which is pretty accurate to an actual Triceratops. I like the curve it has on it too. And obviously I love these osteoderms all over the entire body of this dinosaur. You know, it's fairly accurate to some of the evidence that we've known of Triceratops. It has like, kind of like larger scales or bumps sticking out of the normal skin, which some people thought could have supported spikes or it could have supported some quills like Cetacosaurus. Um, or they could just been larger bumps that just kind of stick out like this. So who knows, um, but I find that a really cool touch. And don't forget, here's the back of the frill too, really nicely sculpted as well. So yeah, so here are the hind limbs, nice musculature, nicely sculpted feet and the toenails, some more skin folds and lines and creases here like in the knees and the elbows. So really nicely done here in the hands. Really nicely done. I, I, I can already point out one thing that might be inaccurate. Um, and or maybe two things, but I know one thing, these last two digits right here, I think would not have possessed any claws on them at all. Um, I think they were just kind of just clawless little appendages just kind of stick in there. So I don't think there were actually claws on there. So that's the only, I think maybe inaccurate thing with this Triceratops figure, but it's so, so little, it's not really gonna harm this figure at all. Um, and here at the bottom, in a nice amount of detail. See, you can see the stretch marks in the skin right here because this leg is moving forward. So that is really nicely done from Rebor right here. Um, so yeah, really nice sculpt on this Triceratops. And another thing that I saw that might not have been accurate, is this little dew claw, I think is supposed to touch the ground. I don't think it's supposed to kind of sit above it and not touch it like a theropod's foot. Um, so I don't know if that's supposed to be accurate or not, but um, I think it, I don't know, it looks cool. Um, like I said, just like the uh, the front limbs, I don't, it's nothing too bad that's gonna damage this figure. I like these larger scales right here on the leg. So yeah, really nicely done on the sculpt work of this figure. Now colors, colors are really simple, really naturalistic. Um, not a whole lot of vibrant colors, but you know, this is supposed to be a naturalistic, realistic dinosaur model. Um, you know, supposed to represent something that actually lived, you know, a long time ago. And the colors greatly, you know, um, add to that. You know, I like the, the lighter toned beige color for the underside. Um, and it kind of has a m bit more co of that color on the backside. And I like the dark bluish gray color for uh, some of the, the head and some parts of the frill and obviously the body. And I like how it kind of stripes onto the thighs right here and it kind of stripes down the tail so really nicely done there i like the orangish color for the inside parts of the frill at least where the holes would be and then you got like a nice yellowish orange for the this part of the uh, lower jaw and it kind of bleeds into the neck a little bit um, and some little highlights of that lighter color and the face looks really nice um, and i like the reddish fleshy color for the around the eye socket you know, around the eyes, so it looks really good too. And the the horns are like this, kind of like this lighter brownish color, kind of. It's like this warmish color, but um, looks pretty cool. I really do like it a lot. And then the inside of the mouth is like this nice uh, fleshy inside mouth color. And the teeth are like a whiter color too. So really great, greatly colored on this figure. Um, and yeah, the only action feature are movable, joint is just the jaw other than that it's just a really cool model you can just display there whenever and just kind of look at it in all its glory so yeah i am i'm already currently kind of going through my model collection and kind of rearranging everything making room for all the stuff that i got for my birthday um model wise um and i'm gonna find a good spot for this triceratops on there so we can have a nice good home um to uh you know live the rest of its life in my uh my collection uh, for comparisons, I don't own any other Rebor figure, so I can't really compare with any of that. However, I will compare it with probably my other favorite Triceratops figure in my model collection, and that is the Safari LTD Triceratops. Um, 
This is the 2018 version, so um, definitely the size is a huge difference right here. Um, but yeah, I love these two Triceratops figures a lot. I got my favorites in terms of Jurassic Park, but in terms of realistic or scientifically accurate, you know, models, these two are definitely my favorite and the best uh, accurate looking ones, in my opinion. Um, at least in my collection right now. There are tons of other great Triceratops figures out there, but these are the only good ones I really have. Um, so yeah, these ones are definitely really special to me, and they're going to have a special place, not only in my heart, but just in my collection, you know, as a Triceratops. Because Triceratops is such a cool and classic dinosaur. You, know, you, you can't really dislike it in any way. So um, yeah, these two are somewhat similar. Um, they, I think they're the same species. I know there's different species of Triceratopses, so, but you know, for a smaller figure, this Triceratops is really great. I really do love this one a lot. And then this Brevor one is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and as you can see here, like I said on the Rebor one, these two appendages would not have spikes on them. And I think this little dew claw would have been closer to the ground. And then this is kind of like the skin right here is kind of like what it was represented in um, on a fossilized portion of skin so um but yeah you know that's really pretty much all i have for this review um i hope you guys enjoyed it you know my first review of a rebore figure but also um just the overall review in general um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this uh video definitely give this one a I'm going to have to say 11 out of 10. This thing is just awesome. And I highly recommend it for any dinosaur collector out there, this Rebor Triceratops um, Trident. So, yeah, really great figure. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys again for the next video.